What's up guys, just want to make a quick video. Finally City is working. So far so good. Uh, the sources seem to be taking a little bit longer to add. I mean it, it was taking like 7 or 8 minutes every time I added a source. But Anyways, just want to make a quick video of some of my favorite tweaks. First things I always do. It sucks going into iOS 6 with the iPhone 5. A handful of them weren't compatible or you know like for instance the biggest one was gridlock but I'm sure you know there'll be an update or some replacement for it you know gridlocks where you can move icons wherever you want and you know it doesn't spring them back right next to the next icon uh, another one I'm not sure if it'll work now I didn't have winterboard on there yet because I don't I'm not really a theme person I like to just do it all myself uh, Any of the respring apps or widgets, whatever you want to call it, didn't work. Like I installed one in the notification center, and I clicked it, and it just it wouldn't work. And then one of the apps, I have to respring it when I change the settings, and there's a respring button in there, and it wouldn't work either. So I don't know, maybe if it will now, but here we go. You see, I usually do something different, but I just found this one is pretty cool. I like, you know, like the custom slider and whatnot, but this one's pretty sweet. So you fold, and it just, whoops. It's pretty cool. It gets annoying sometimes, though, because you go to, you know, you can go like this to unlock it with the slider, and it goes, but this one you got to actually pull all the way. As you can see, I got, first off, you know, tons of icons on the first page. I got the big dock. And I can scroll too if I had more on there. Uh, barrel. We'll start with that one. Barrel is awesome. It's just, it's random. Uh, I only got two pages here, but you see, just it's random note or animations every time I scroll. And you can change it. Go to your uh, settings. Go to barrel. You got random, you got cube. You know, cube. I just, I like random because they're all really cool. I don't want to be stuck on just one. But, uh, next one, this is Custom Grid. This is my all time favorite. So I missed so much when I wasn't jailbroken. Uh, you see, I got way more icons in the stack layout. The dock is in Finidac. That's separate, but same thing basically. But uh, you can add as many as you all. Well, you can add quite a bit. It's custom grid right here. Let's see, you can add. Oh wow, up to twelve rows. And twelve columns. That would be ridiculous though, because I mean you'd only have like a little bit of each app showing. It'd be hard to tap them and open them. This is the one when I respringed it, it wouldn't work because I tried to hide the page labels. You know, like the info under the you know the icon name under it because I hate those two but I did that I went through uh, Cydia and resprung it and it still didn't work so it must be you know just an iOS 6 issue um, winterboard you know that's for your themes unfold that's the uh, lock screen NC settings that's a cool one and your uh, notification center, you know, you got your Wi-Fi, volume, brightness, respring right there. I'm not sure if it'll work now. Oh, no, that's not respring. Let's lock the orientation. Whoops. But, yeah, you got quite a few little options in there. So that's cool. That's one thing I miss, do miss about Android is, you know, having all these kinds of settings right here. But, you know, again, now that I'm jailbroken, I got it. Let's see, what else? Uh, Multi-story, that's another big one. That's what I was talking about in my jailbreak video, but I didn't think it worked, but come to find out, you know, it was Cydia that was down. Multi-story brings two rows to your uh, multitasking window, which is, you know, it's just, it's a lot nicer to close stuff. You don't got to keep scrolling or whatever. Plus, you see more at one time. I've only got eight things open right now, but, you know, it would be normal, like, if I had more, you'd scroll. But I like this too, you know, it brings these two together so you don't have the other page over there for the volume slider. 
uh, color keyboard. That's one of my favorites too. This is just the plain theme I found. But they got all kinds of them and you know you can change it like the color that pops up. Let's see, color keyboard, enable, select themes. It's pretty cool, you can get like a five row. I'll show you a little preview. And I like that, that's another thing I miss about Android is having, well, the phone I had, the Note 2, having the numbers on top so you didn't have to hit one, two, three every time. It's got quite a few different themes. I really like them. I'll stick with that one. Then you can change the pop up key. That's you know when you hit the button and it pops up. You can change that color. We'll do silver, I guess. That didn't work. Got respring. Oh, save. Spring real quick. Wow, what's up with the dark screen? Hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Cool keyboard. Um, what else? Fate Carrier. It's another, that's like the first thing I always download because I hate seeing the little sprint thing right there you can change that to whatever you want um, ProTube instead of having an actual ProTube app now it just embeds itself in the YouTube app which is awesome because I hated having two separate ones because I always felt you know I always went to YouTube on accident but uh, let's click this one right here Once it starts playing I'm on 3G, I don't know why it's not connected to Wi Fi. Once it starts playing, you have this little act, this arrow right here. You click that, you get all these options to download it. You get all these options to uh, download it. You can download the audio, low quality video, high quality video. That's really awesome. It's cool for like music videos and funny stuff you see. And you don't want to wait for it to buffer every time. Another one, if you notice my clock icon, it's actually live. Come on, let's focus here. See? 1048, 1048, showing the seconds. That's pretty cool. Just really more for eye candy eye candy there's another there's a weather one called a uh, weather icon and it changed your weather icon to you know what the weather actually was which you know right now it's like 20 degrees outside you know so it would say 20 instead of 73 um i think that's about it oh another big one i hated the new stand i never use it the icon's ugly you can't put it in folders i hate it Nobody likes it. <laughs> and that one is hidden now. No, it's not in any folders. It's not on the screen here. It's not on here. Not on that folder. That one is called No News is Good News. All one word. And it just, I don't know if it hides it or if it uninstalls it or what, but it's not there, so I'm happy. This dock's cool. That's InfiniDock. I'll show you how that works. Just add stuff to it. And you scroll over. And you can, I think, squish them together too. Like if you want them all on one page, you can probably have eight or nine icons down there. But Yeah, so I just want to make a quick video of some of my favorite tweaks. And I, you know, I just installed these, added a couple sources, and just some quick stuff.